So looking at Abel Tasman visitor numbers, again this is another time series graph. We can see the different seasons down here. So kind of breaking it up throughout the year. Um, so the visitors here are in thousands and we can see generally the long term trend here is that we've got quite a big increase happening of the peaks. So you can see the peaks are getting slightly bigger each time. Not a huge increase there and a bit of a drop off. And on the mins, we've got a little bit of a consistent increase as well. So, um, now this, oops, that peak is not a drop off. That's the equivalent of that one there. So we'd expect the next one to kind of continue on. So, my long term trend here for Abel Tasman visitors is increasing. Um, and there is more of an increase in the peak time of year than in the low times. Just noticing that the increase from here to all the way up here is much bigger than the increase that we see along the minimums there. Um, so the highs here are obviously probably in the summer months, June and March, as we can see. So the seasonal trend peaks in January slash March and is lowest in mm, usually around July, September in winter, as you might expect. So that's our short term trend. There isn't really anything too unusual going on here. Um, a little bit of variation, but nothing too dramatic. Um, a nice graph like this does cycle quite nicely. And one thing that I wanted to talk to you guys about is um, graphs that are in phase or out of phase. So if I was to put on uh, another graph on top of this, let's call it uh, visitors to Nelson. How do you think that might look on this graph as well? We might see that the peak of visitors to Nelson is highest in the summer um, and lower in the winter, maybe higher in the summer months and a little bit lower in the winter months, etc. So we might expect to see um, something, sorry, something similar to be happening here. And so what we say about these two graphs is in phase is a phrase. So this means peaks and troughs happen at same time. So when things are in phase, they're kind of cycling together. They have their highs together and their lows together. They don't have to be exactly the same, like here this graph is much smaller in its variation, but its peaks happen at the same time as the Abel Tasman peaks, and the troughs are at the same time as the Abel Trasman. So that's what I mean by in phase. Um, and another thing that's sometimes asked for us is to make a prediction. So if I was going to make a prediction for what this graph was going to do in the next year, given that I saw a good steady increase happening, I might expect my next um, January number to be up at maybe just at or just over 12,000 visitors and then I would expect it, I guess it's not that far out maybe at 12,000 visitors and then would expect it to kind of do something relatively similar over the next period so if I was going to predict it, think about what's going on in the long term. Um, and this is no guarantee. I mean, we could have a tsunami and that Abel Tasman 
has to close down while it's recovering type of a thing and nobody's allowed to go into it. Could be an incredibly cold summer and nobody goes to the parks because it's just raining and miserable the whole time. But if all things go on as they have, or kind of, that we kind of expect them to do here with what we've seen in the previous years, that would be my prediction for the following year. So again, the prediction is kind of based on the idea that, well, if everything stays the same, that's what, would, that's what I'd expect to see. So those are sometimes uh, things that they can ask you about. One thing that I just asked you to do here uh, for a bit of fun is draw what you'd expect to see for a time series showing the number of ice creams sold from a shop. Thinking about what's going on here with January, April, July, October, etc. So looking at kind of in quarters. So if you think about it, where would you expect the ice cream sales to be? Um, you can draw your own graph, doesn't have to be perfect. But generally we would expect ice cream to be sold more in the winter than it is in the summer. So, sorry, wrong season. You'd expect it to be higher in the summer than it is in the winter. Um, so let's take a look. That's just a guess. I mean, I've got no idea what that'd actually be. This would depend on the shop and the country and all sorts of stuff. But if I predicted it was going to be higher sales in the summer and lower sales in the winter, that could be an idea of what I've drawn on there. You could put anything you want on there as well, but probably some idea that in the seasons it will vary.